Saint Maria Goretti was born October 16, 1890, and died July 6, 1902. Her feast day is July 6, and she is the patroness of youth, young women, purity, and victims of rape. Maria was beatified by Pope Pius XII on April 27, 1947, and was canonized three years later by the same Pope on June 24, 1950. Maria was born in the Ancona province of Italy, where she lived until her father moved their family to Fiere de Conca. Unfortunately, shortly after the move, Maria's father died of malaria, leaving her mother and several of her siblings to work in the fields to support themselves. Maria remained at home to tend her youngest sister, Teresa, and cook, clean, and sew. Though their situation was hard, the Goretti family was close-knit and loved God. The family continued to work hard for several years until July 5, 1902, when Maria sat on the steps of her home sewing and her family was tending the surrounding fields. That was when 18-year-old Alessandro appeared and pulled her into her home, where he attempted to rape her. She cried out that it was a sin, but he persisted. When Maria fought back, he began to choke her. She was able to say she would rather die than submit to him, so Alessandro pulled out a knife and stabbed her 11 times. Maria was gravely wounded and attempted to reach the door, but Alessandro stabbed her three more times before fleeing the scene. When her family returned and found Maria bloodied on the floor, they rushed her to the nearest hospital. Maria survived the night and, before her death the next day, said she forgave Alessandro and even hoped he would one day join her in heaven. Later, she died while looking upon an image of the Virgin Mary and holding a cross to her chest. Alessandro had been captured shortly after Maria's discovery, and he admitted he had attempted to sway her into sinning with him several times before. He was sentenced to 30 years in jail and remained unrepentant until one night when Maria came to him in a dream. She offered him lilies, which he accepted, but they burned in his hands. When he awoke, he admitted his sins and repented. When he was finally released, he lived the rest of his life under the order of the Friars Minor Capuchin, where he worked as a receptionist and gardener. He was also present in the audience when Maria was canonized by Pope Pius XII. Saint Maria is called a martyr because she fought against Alessandro's attempts at sexual sin. However, the most important aspects of her story are how she forgave her attacker and the miracle her forgiveness produced in his life. Saint Maria's remains can be found at the crypt of the Basilica of Nostra Signora delle Grazie Santa Maria Goretti in Netuno, where her body is kept in a statue which lies beneath the altar. Depictions of Saint Maria often show her with wavy hair, dressed in either white or farm clothes, and often show her holding lilies, which are symbols of purity. To learn more about Saint Maria, visit catholic.org. And if Maria inspires you, or someone you know, Shop for her items by clicking on the catholicshopping.com link below for a one-of-a-kind shopping experience.